Here's the quickest way to tell if you're dealing with a narcissist, especially if you just started dating this person. Here is the quickest way to tell that your whole life is about to be turned upside down. You are about to embark on the most chaotic, most, most crazy, most painful, traumatic experience of your life. These people will lend you in a mental health facility. Some people end up broke. Some people end up homeless. Some people even end up on a life. The narcissist is a psychopath. The narcissist is a demon. The narcissist is nothing to be messed with. So one of the quickest ways to tell that you're dealing or dating a narcissist, this is going to help you figure it out, get out, before your whole life gets turned upside down, okay? The quickest way to, to tell that you're dealing with a narcissist is that they're very, very quick. No pun intended. The narcissist moves very fast, very, very fast at the speed of light or even faster. They move really, really fast, okay? No pun intended, like I said. The reason the narcissist moves so fast is because they are literally borrowing a personality when they get with you they mirror your personality but the person that you've met who's the narcissist is not really who they are that's their representative so for the the first few months that's their representative and that representative has dealt with so many other people in the past and so they've come up with a formula that works really well for certain people and those certain people are empaths empaths are people who are loving people who see good in people people who would give the shirt off their backs people who are very generous people who are usually like god fearing they have morals and standards um they're well-to-do people some of them are very attractive people so these are the kind of people that the narcissist likes the narcissist is not going to deal with someone they can't benefit from a lot of their um, relationships are transactional which means that they have to benefit from you in some way so if you're a beautiful girl they get with you because it makes them look good it makes their their um public uh facade look look good you know the the boys are jealous of them like hmm, how how did he get her you know if you're well to do they automatically have money um if you are a responsible person <clears throat> excuse me they know that they're going to be taken care of if you have a home they know that now they have a home because maybe they're homeless if they if you have like they just they gain something from you if you are a pushover and a pick me, they know that they have a great landing spot, which means they can go out, cheat on you, do whatever they want, and they can come back home to someone who's going to take them back regardless of what's going on. They, they're going to come back home to a clean home. The kids are taken care of. There's warm meals on the table because you are broken, insecure, and you're not going to leave them. So their relationships are usually transactional so they move really fast when they find that empath that they know that they're going to gain a lot from they're going to try to move really fast and the main reason they move really fast is because like i said the personality that they're using at the moment when they met you is not really who they are and you can't fake certain things for too long so they move really fast to get you trapped right to get you trapped so that before you figure them out, it's too late. Or when you figure them out, it's too late. You're already trapped. So one of the ways or some of the ways they trap people is by moving you in or moving in with you. Or meeting your friends and family really fast or you meeting their friends and family really fast. If you're a person with morals and standards, you know that meeting the family and friends is a big deal. Because now you guys basically made it official. People know about you. So it's hard for you to just get up the next day and leave. Because again, you have morals, you have values, you have dignity. Um, another way is by having a child by you. So literally the first few times they already want to get you pregnant or they're telling you that you're going to be a mother to um, the mother to their children. Or if you're a guy, they're going to tell you, oh, my God, I think you're going to be such a great father. I want to have your babies. Things like that. 
right? Or another way is by marrying you. These are the people who will tell you, let's go to Vegas or let's go to the courthouse. I love you so much. I found my person. You're my soulmate. Again, that's another trigger word, soulmate. When you hear them use words like soulmate, I want to build with you. I want to um, marry you. I want you to be the mother or the father of my children. I want to move in with you. And I'm talking really fast. I'm talking first date or even second date or third date, right? They move really fast so that before you figure them out, it's too late. You're at that moment, that um, turning point, that's what it's called, where it's hard to just get up and leave. So... The personality that they're showing you at the start is not really who they are. So, but like I said, they've come up with this perfect formula and they know it works because they used it on the last person and the last person and the last person and it worked. And every time they deal with someone, they perfect the formula so that it's easier for the new victim slash supply to fall for it so they perfect it so if they come to you and sell you this dream um and they future fake a lot too um for those of you who don't know what future faking is again this is them moving fast this is them telling you things that you they know you want to hear at the very very early stages of that relationship so they'll tell you how they want to have children with you they want to marry you you're the woman or man of their dreams they want to travel the world with you they want to give you the world they're telling you all these things because they know that usually this is what people want to hear so the future faking They'll do that with the last person and they'll perfect it with you. And if it works for you, by the time they discard you, they will perfect it even better for the next person. So if you value yourself, if you value your edges, if you value your hairline, if you value your beauty and your mental health, Look out for these kind of people. When you start dating a person and they're moving really fast, they have a pet name for you on the first date or even the second date. They are texting you. They just, they vomit everything that's inside of them, hoping that something will stick so that you become tra uh, trapped very fast and very soon. So they're going to do everything in their power. And this is where the love bombing comes in. They are buying you flowers they are rubbing your back when you tell them about what happened at work they're like oh my god i can't believe that did this to you you don't deserve that you deserve so much better da, 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 da. they're agreeing with you they are siding with you they are telling you that you're the most beautiful woman you're the most handsome man you're better than their exes they're just telling you all of these things really quick and really fast that's abnormal if you're an adult you know that's abnormal. There is no way that you can love someone that fast. You can like them. You can be attracted to them. And that's a fact. You can be attracted to someone you just met in two seconds. You can really like someone you just met a few weeks ago. But it takes a lot to really love someone. Loving someone means you know their flaws. You know their weaknesses. You know their strength. You know what triggers them. You know what makes them happy. You know what calms them down you know what makes them mad you know all of these things about them and you still choose to be with them you choose them every time right and it takes time in my opinion really loving someone takes time it doesn't take a week it doesn't take two days so when you hear these things like soulmate i want to build with you i want to um I want to marry you. I want to build a whole city with you. I want to take over the world with you. I want your my everything. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. None of the people I've ever dated looks like look like you or sound like you or act like you. These are triggered words. These people, if you mess with the wrong narcissist, you will be scarred forever. Your whole life is going to be turned upside down. So pay attention to these signs. And some relationships do move fast, but it's only a few, very, very few. Even with that, it's healthy. But if it feels like you're on this, like, fast roller coaster that you can't even explain, and it's just, everything just seems so good, too good to be true, you're dealing with a narcissist. Run for the hills. Follow for more.